How's it going, everybody? This is Pete the Bush. This is the Dartwood Astronomical Telescope, not astronomical in price. In fact, it is a very low price telescope. Let's take a look at what you get what kind of results you can get. For any telescope, the larger the aperture, the more light it can let in. For this one, there's a plastic ring over here. The outside measures three and three quarter inches, but the lens itself down there is about two and three quarter inches or about 70 millimeters. These are all the pieces included in the package. The main telescope, you have a finder scope that allows you to orient the big telescope. It comes with a tripod. What's really cool is they added this piece. It allows you to attach it to one of these eye pieces and you can put your phone here so you can record your pictures or video of what you see through the telescope. This is a 1.5x eyepiece. You can add it to zoom in a little bit closer. This is a 3x zoom. This is the f12 millimeter eyepiece. It allows the widest view. So I would start with this one. And when you want to zoom in closer, you use this one, which is the h20 millimeter. And then if you want to zoom in even further, you would use this h6 millimeter one. The moon filter, because the moon is a little bit too bright, you can use this green lens to reduce the brightness. You take one of the eye pieces and you just screw it into place and your moon filter is on. This is a correcting image eyepiece. If you don't use this, everything will be flipped upside down. So put this in so everything will be right side up. Comes with a little remote so you can take your picture without disturbing the telescope, both iOS and Android. Uses a CR2032 cell. When you get this, it comes disassembled. Just put this on here, put the finder scope in here, lock it into place. It allows you to adjust it for and back just by a little bit. The finder scope allows you to twist the eyepiece here to focus it. There's a little bit of adjustment for pointing. If you want to point it down, you would screw in this screw a lot more. Or if you want to point right a lot, then you would turn in this screw. Focus the main telescope with this knob on either side. At the bottom, there's a quarter inch screw. Attach it to the tripod and fix this knob here to adjust elevation. And if you loosen this knob, you can swing it 360 degrees. For typical operation, just remove this plastic piece. You have the image flipper, remove the plastic covers and you insert that in there. Start with the F12 millimeter, put it in there, remove the dust cover and it's ready to go. If you want to increase the zoom, put the 1.5 X in, remove the dust covers, twist this knob to open that. And then you just put that in, close the knob. If you want even more zoom, put the 3X in right here. If you want even more zoom, put in the h20 millimeter and then the h6 millimeter this phone attachment you can twist the outer ring and these three clamps closes in towards the center and the front holds your phone and through this up and down adjustment or turning you can align your camera right through the center of that hole so you put it over twist it counterclockwise until it closes in Right there, it's tight. Notice it's a little tilted. Well, you can make it straight again just by turning it. I set up a figurine called Ali the Fox across the room about 18 feet from the telescope. Let's see how much it can zoom in. You gotta position it so that if I go a little bit too far, it looks like there's a circle, but that's not it. You gotta move it until the middle. It's not fuzzy on any other sides. Then we tighten the knob. And then we can twist the phone so it's upright. And then I need to adjust the height right there. Now I can take a photo. And this is the F12 millimeter eyepiece. I'm getting a little bit better response with video mode. Now we can see that he fits about one quarter of the entire field of view. Let's try the H6 millimeter. This is the furthest zoom in. His face covers up the entire aperture. It's kind of finicky, right? Because it's zoomed in so much, any small movement, even if the car drives by, it's gonna shake the ground, it's gonna disturb what you're gonna see. Let's try the moon lens because it's green and it's gonna reduce the brightness a bit. The moon lens seems a little bit fuzzy to me. We can take a closer look at the lens. We can remove the inner ring. And looking at it through this lens, this little cut mark indicates it's a piece of plastic. And looking at the reflection, you can see it's not completely flat. And this would result in a little bit of fuzziness in the image. But now let's add in the 1.5X. I positioned it as best as I could to look at the figurine. His head covers about one third of the aperture. Now his entire head covers about 60, 70% of the aperture. I'm recording video. I can adjust focus over here. Unfortunately, the moon is not out, but I can look at some objects of interest roughly around the same brightness. I'm using the second strongest lens here. Rotate it. Oh, we can see a car all the way down over there. 
and the building. I'm zoomed in a lot and even if I breathe on it, it moves the telescope. This is as sharp as I could get it at the maximum zoom using the H6 millimeter. If you guys are interested in this telescope, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.